Hi and welcome to a new vlog. Today we're going to be making a lithium battery charger and more specifically one aimed at uh, charging 18650 cells. Sometimes I take apart these uh, laptop batteries to recover the 18650 cells that you find inside. So far I have a bunch of them that I keep in this container but every time I like to charge and test their capacity before deciding to keep them or not. As you can imagine, it takes time to charge and discharge all of these cells, so it would be really useful to have a charger that would allow me to charge multiple of these cells at a time. So we will be building a charger that can charge for 18650 cells, but the design is scalable and you can extend uh, to as many cells as you would like. For building this project, we'll be using these uh, one amp charging modules, a four-way 18650 battery socket, four adjustable resistors, some wires, uh, a prototyping board, and this uh, 560 ohm resistor. These charging modules are based on the TP4056 charging IC, so we'll start by looking at its datasheet. First, we are interested in what kind of chemistries can this chip handle. We see the chip has a preset 4.2 volts uh, charging voltage with 1.5% accuracy and this is particularly important because inside the laptop batteries you can find cells that have a different chemistry with a different uh, charging voltage than 4.2 volts so you do need to be careful what batteries you're going to be plugging into this charger make sure they have a charging voltage of 4.2 volts Next, we notice the input supply can go up to 8 volts, but I'm sure using 8 volts will make the chip dissipate more heat, so we'll stick with uh, 5 volts input. Next, we already know it can do up to 1 amp, but we notice the current is programmable, so that gave me the idea to adjust the charging current to make this charger more versatile. By looking on this page, we observe the charging current is programmable through a resistor connected from prog pin to ground and they give us a table of different presets. The value of this resistor varies from 1k up to 10k thus varying the charging current as we can see in the table from 130 milliamps at 10k up to 1 amp for 1.2k uh, set resistor. We don't get the internal diagram of this chip so we don't know what's behind the programming pin but just to be on the safe side, in my project I'm going to use a 500 ohm resistor to ground just to limit the current that could go through that pin. And you can use any value resistor here between 500 ohms and 1k. If you are interested in the performance of the TP4056 charging IC, I placed a link in the description to a page where a guy does an in-depth analysis of this uh, charging IC. There is also a link to the datasheet down below. First step is to remove the um, programming pin resistors from the PCBs. They are these uh, small 0603 10K resistors placed on the left of the charging module. It is very easy to remove them with hot air or as I am doing here with a blob of solder, you can just shove them off their pads. Next, I am attaching the four charging modules with some double-sided tape to the battery holder. Next, I am soldering some wires from the outputs of the charging modules to the battery holder tabs. I am also paralleling the inputs of the charging modules as they will be all supplied from the same 5 volts input. For the output, make sure you use a proper wire that can handle the maximum 1 amp current and make sure you get the polarity right. For the input, make sure to use a proper wire that can handle the added parallel input current value. Next, I am attaching my four variable resistors to this proto board together with the ground resistor mentioned earlier. Here is the connection diagram for this proto board. We have the four variable resistors. On one end of the variable resistor, we have the uh, resistor going to ground, and its value will determine the maximum charging current and from the wiper we are connecting to the programming pin on the TP4056 charging modules. Next all you have to do is run a single ground wire to the common ground 
and individual wires to the programming pin of each module. So now that the charger is complete, I'm going to put it to a test. I have uh, four 18650 cells that need charging and uh, I have left the negative lead disconnected so that I can hook an ammeter in series which, with each of these batteries to measure the charging current. So let's start connecting these batteries. Uh, sorry, the multimeters. Okay, so now I have all four multimeters connected. And to the input of the charger, I am supplying uh, 5 volts from my bench power supply. Let's turn the power supply on. And we can immediately see that all chargers are um, pulling current from the input power supply. So let's try to adjust the charging current. First we're going to watch the first multimeter. We are currently at our lowest setting with the pot turned all the way to the right. And we are charging at 116 milliamps, which is roughly the same uh, figure we saw in the data sheet as the minimum charging current of 120 milliamps. And if I adjust this uh, pot, we can see we should be able to go up to one amp. Wow, it seems like we're getting up to 1.7 amps. So yeah, more than the data sheet advises. Okay, let's uh, turn this one back to its lowest setting. Let's try the next one. Yeah, this one goes up to 1.3 amps. The third one doesn't go as high as the other ones, but I'm uh, I'm guessing this battery is not as discharged and it's not pulling as much current as the other ones. And uh, our fourth charger, it's also going up to 1.4 amps. Of course, you could limit the maximum current by playing with the resistor connected to ground from our potentiometer. If you play with that resistor value and set it, for example, to 1K, you will limit to uh, you will limit the the maximum charging current. But everything works as uh, expected, and uh, I'm quite happy how this uh, project turned out. We can also see the uh, LED. They are kind of faint, but we can see the red LED is on right now. And that signifies um, we are charging the battery and as soon as uh, the battery is full it will uh, stop charging and switch on the green LED which is right below. There is one last thing I would like to do to this charger. Uh, these sockets don't uh, have the usual uh, spring plus metal contact so that you can figure out which way it's positive and which way is negative. So you could uh, in theory plug the battery both ways into this socket and uh, I'm not sure if the charger has protection for a reverse battery connection. But uh, what I can do is I have prepared these uh, small heat shrink uh, rings that I can place on the contacts on the positive side. Let me show you. So my positive is on this side. And I can place these uh, smaller rings like that, hit them, and uh, that will be a nice indication of the uh, positive side. And it will not interfere with the actual battery contact, which is uh, lower and uh, does stick out further than where I place the uh, small heat shrink uh, ring. At this point I am happy with how the project turned out and uh, I hope this short video will inspire you to build something similar. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, like this video if you found it interesting and I will see you next time.